Horoscope people, you will eat today. Zodiac people, oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is true. <laughs> I don't like TikTok. It has been a secret for the past two months for my five subscribers. Five subscribers, what? Welcome to Equals 3 2021 edition, the shittier version. And TikTok is a home of cringe like high school just keep talking about so much nonsense as long as you keep talking people are still going to pay attention no matter how big of a piece of shit you are it's like the equivalent to facebook groups when people find and make up false information truly believe it's true no evidence to back it up and if there is that evidence is still made up nonetheless don't even get me started with the go go anime voiceovers because hearing that's like hearing a teacher scratching their fingernails on a chalkboard i was hearing typing sounds in the middle of the night but I'm the only one up. The TikTok Texas Beach is basically Siri, Google, and Alexa's autistic sister. What a disgrace to the family. The outlier tells the audience information that is completely inaccurate or irrelevant. Also straight up annoying. The cringy kid that yells at the teacher for no fucking reason. You're even worse than Mr. Kid! I've seen so many people, so many psychological claims that are not even true. For example, if they look at you, they like you. <laughs> if you have a wet dream about someone, they want that juicy hot dog of yours that's under your active trouser wear. <laughs> so I will just do this in a spiritual sense. Kinda. I'll be reviewing these TikToks and basically calling them cringe. Not only that, these are basically like fucked up in general. At the end of the video, I'll have like a somewhat in-depth of what I really think about these. Tarot readers and psychics of TikTok are the worst, but we'll probably talk about the tarot readers. They always say the same thing like, you're going to be with this person you're imagining. You're going to get some closure with some fucking asshole that your ex wants you back after five freaking years. Blah, 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 blah. But they never talk about the bad things. Why? Because if they do, no one will watch them, and only good things attract viewers. It's hedonism at its finest. There's a reason why half the people go to college and just to get drunk and get their cheeks clapped or clap some cheeks with someone and not give a shit about school at the end of the day. There's a reason why in poor communities people stick with the way they're living, especially with drugs. They get a little dopamine rush in their brain, or once they have the slight amount of cash they automatically flex their Gucci belt, or why people have, I don't know, 150 sex partners? Or there's a reason why rich people don't want to give to charities because they don't want to give their money to something useless according to their mind, or how the rich can't pay their fair share when it comes to taxes. But anyway, here's the first video, let's get back on track and not get political i guess if you're seeing this it's a sign i made three of these videos the one you see is the one you're meant to hear this is what is coming your way for love in the month of march nah i can't make this up i feel like you're gonna end up with your soulmate in the month of march you either are going to meet them or a lot of you are probably already talking to your soulmate and you're going to end up in a divine union with them Oh yes, you gotta play the most overplayed field song, Driver's Life, and <laughs> I like how she had to flash some angel numbers in your face, like, you know those repeating numbers you see? That's just 111-555-666. Like, oh, you see? It's a sign that your future girlfriend's going away pretty soon. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she pulls out the two cups cars, which is a soulmate car, which it's right. It's specially upright, which basically means you're really forming a union with the person you're thinking about. No cap. But what I hate about this is that it's giving the person using this crappy app and it gives them false hope and when they go all in with that girl they like or boy they like it depends she accidentally sends a screenshot of the chat saying oh i told you this nerd was going to ask me out if this reading was true i would have, would have been with my crush already like is it towards a certain horoscope or a particular person nah it's nah it's towards to the general public and if they get mentally fucked up it's on them you know i don't care i get all the clout at the end of the day <laughs> So I'm going to be doing a message on who is currently thinking about you. So I'm going to shuffle the cards real quick off camera and I will be right back with your message. While I was shuffling the cards, I heard the name Ryan. Just wanted to say that real quick before I forgot. Okay, so immediately with the Five of Pinnacles, this feels like someone who left you out in the cold and they have been thinking about this like they've been in very, very deep contemplation about whether they want to talk to you or not. I feel like they realized the grass was not greener on the other side. I really want to be honest with you. It's like they're not happy right now. Okay, first thing I want to make clear is who the fuck is Ryan? I never met a Ryan in my life. Despite not meeting a Ryan in my life, that's like the most basic name you could come up with like this is totally made up i mean okay of course this is made up like if i if you think it's kind of somewhat real oh you gotta be kidding me especially the fact that it's on tiktok 
TikTok. Like coming up with Ryan is like coming up with the Bob or Joe as your names when the cashier asks for the order of your name at a Starbucks or McDonald's. But yeah, he's got to pause the video to shuffle and pick out a card so he can find a card that he's meant to show in the video. And the shuffling skills are probably not even good to begin with. Anyway, he does pull out this Yu-Gi-Oh card, Five of Pentacles, and he completely misinterpreted the meaning. Like I said, I don't know anything about tarot cards, but I found a source I found. It's mainly about financial recovery when it's reversed, not about the person who left you out in the cold. <laughs> and it goes on with a few other cards, with the last one re reversed. Well, I didn't show the whole thing, but he just pulls out a bunch of random cards. I don't know anything about the last few cards. Maybe I need to be part of the spiritual family to know about it. I don't know. But honestly, it looked like he just picked out all the cards beforehand, and if it didn't relate to the video, he was like, Nah, I'll toss that at one out. Either that or you're just like, nah, I'll make up meaningless things up along the way and give everyone some hope in the universe. There's nothing wrong giving hope. False hope is the real problem right here. There will be no hashtags in this video. If this is on your For You page, there is no doubt that this is for you. So there is somebody that's really wanting to take action here. They want to come in, but they're extremely conflicted in their mind and they don't know what to do. And they're trying their best to focus on their priorities, but something is coming up and healing is coming for you. And this is something that I see that you've been truly waiting upon. You've been sitting and waiting and seeing if there's- Wait, that's enough for that. Okay. All right. That's enough. So apparently there will be no hashtags in this video. So if you see this on your For You page, it's for you. Nah, my darling. I don't think it works that way. Especially the fact that I noticed you put hashtags in your video previously. And I may not know a lot about the TikTok algorithm, but I'm sure once you put the pound symbol on your videos before, y your TikTok page's videos will be recommended regardless whether they had have hashtags or not, I think. And another thing, are those tarot cards even real? I've never seen anything like that before. It's all like stock photos straight out of Shutterstock or Pinterest. And then they say words like triggered or change or other random stuff. And this tarot reader is different compared to others because she doesn't even shuffle the deck beforehand. Or even announces she's going to shuffle the deck. To be honest, I don't think anyone shuffles the deck be honest so so while i found random things to make for my tiktok video or at least my video on tiktok i gotta agree with this girl 100 because what she's speaking is pretty much facts tiktok terror readers have been pissing me off lately i swear to god these people are pulling out like the three of swords and going oh my god look the sword is piercing through the heart like cupid's arrow they are obsessed with you no if you try to get with this person and have hope, you're going to get your heart broken. Because tarot cards can be interpreted, but you can't change the whole damn meaning of the card. So this lady here does say some straight facts in something that is spiritual, metaphysical, not real. Okay, 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 but for real, intangible but perhaps relatable stuff that could perhaps guide you to your clairvoyance that you would like need. So this girl rants about other tarot reading from TikTokers, and I agree, it's annoying, it's true. They do change the whole damn meaning of the cards in general, and look at the guy saying something about leaving you out of the blue when it means something else. But I agree, people will be pulling out the three swords, for example, and say like, Oh my god, they're so obsessed with you. <laughs> but nah, I looked it up, for example, again. Upright or reverse, it don't mean that people are obsessed with you. Reverse is basically keeping your head up. Forgiveness, perhaps, as well. And upright means heartbreak, some fucked up shit. Something that Man United fans experienced when Liverpool won the title for the first time in 30 years. But honestly, at the end of the day, why am I trying to be logical with this? I know that you can't use logic to explain these things, but do I trust tarot readings? In general. Honestly, it depends what my gut thinks about the person doing them. Because one time I had a reading and it said that I have a cursed life. <laughs> Put my whole life on cursed images, I guess. I knew it felt sketchy from the start. I knew I, I felt like it was a scam from the start. But at the same time, re these readings in general could be true. Who knows what lies ahead? And it is especially crazy accurate what psychics get from your past in general. I've had two before because I was bored. And it's funny how my first one was like, oh, you're going to have the best future ever. And then my second was like, 
eh, nah, you're going to live homeless in the streets. You're going to be drinking on the red line all of your life, begging for money. But other than the ones I showed you, could they be true? I don't know. Because I have a friend who's into these. And every time she shares the ones that she sees, it's like something that I know she's going through or something related. But at the same time, usually comes out true and then at times completely false in the future. And if it's 100% true, there's a chance that it could be a coincidence. But these people, man, I just never saw a bad tarot reading in my life. Like something where you, your life goes downhill because at the end of the day, people will automatically think it's fake but somehow think the good ones are the real stuff. And the good luck tarot readings are just as bad as the bad ones if there are, are any, to be honest. It's like a lose-lose situation. You'll fuck yourself up even more if you really believe any of this. Then again, people in general should not see this as a clairvoyance to one's path. I'm pretty sure there's some people out there too. But if you see that, if you see one that simply relates his current situations in life for fun, I don't care. But if it's for the sake of, yeah, you will get a million dollars in a few days and spend all your balance and so don't win anything and can't pay your bills or ask your crush out in the most preposterous way possible, you does need help, my friend. If it's for the damn fun, I guess it is what it is with people on the internet sure very gullible even with the stupidest things i guess since i have five subscribers now i guess i'll do a face reveal and make a parody of this whole thing whole tiktok extravaganza ha 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 i guess that just wraps up this whole video i've been a busy i've been a little busy a little stressed with other stuff in my life and this video was probably poorly made from the looks of it but whatever i'll just get whatever it is to upload at this point but hey if you like the video just press the like and subscribe if you're new and yeah i'll see you guys later peace